hair and a bit of hair. Um, but today we're looking at what is church? And it's our second season in a, in a series of five. And we're looking at worship. And it's entitled, uh, We Sing Because We Are Winning. And we're going to be reading from the, um, uh, from the Bible, from the Gospel of Luke. Luke is an incredible um, uh, book in the Bible. And um, you'll find the passage at Luke chapter 15. Okay. Are you sitting comfortably? Then I shall begin. It's called the parable of the lost sheep. Now the tax collectors and sinners were all gathering around to hear Jesus. But the Pharisees and the teachers of the law muttered. I don't know if you ever had anyone muttering. Well, Jesus has. This man, he welcomes sinners and eats with them. Then Jesus told them this parable. Just suppose, suppose one of you has a hundred sheep and loses one of them. Does he not leave the 99 in the open country and go after the lost sheep until he finds it? And when he finds it, he joyfully puts on his shoulders and goes home. And then he calls his friends and neighbours together and says, Rejoice with me, I have found my lost sheep. I tell you that in heaven, in, sorry, I tell you that in the same way, there will be more rejoicing in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 righteous persons who don't, do not need to repent. And all God's people say, Amen. And so today I'd like to do um, a quick talk to you, uh, with you, about church. What is church? And this morning we looked at a little bit about um, basically um, uh, church being a place of great love. And tonight I'd like to look at us as saying that the reason why we come together to church is because we sing when we're winning. Because we are winning, shall I say. At church, when we gather together, we can worship together, we can praise God, we can bounce off each other and say, actually, we are stronger together than on our own. And so why do we sing in church? Well, from this passage today, I'd like to share three simple points. The reason why we sing is because we, we know that we haven't made it, but we have a philosophy of making it. I say that again. We know that we haven't made it, but we have a philosophy that says we can make it. You see, in the passage which we uh, heard today, Jesus uh, was talking about a shepherd who lost a sheep. And a shepherd, if you know a shepherd, he knows that sheep go astray. He knows from time to time they may go off course. And so we sing to God in the good times. We sing when we've got it all together. But we also sing when we haven't got it all together. You know, we know that we haven't made it. We know we're not perfect, but we've got a philosophy that says we're on our way to becoming perfect. Why? Because Jesus died and rose again. And he understands what you're like. He understands what you're like on a Sunday and he understands what you're like on a Monday. He understands when things are going well and, and, and you haven't done much wrong for a while. And he understands where, when there's a car crash that comes your way. It's pretty tough, actually, as, as a minister, as a vicar, a priest, whatever you like to call me, a pastor. And because people do love to encourage me and say, actually, oh, you're doing, you're doing such a great job. Oh, you're so amazing. You're great prayer. You're great blah, 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 blah. But actually, I'm just like you. And I make mistakes. And it really does make me feel so bad because I thought I got it together. I thought I'm never going to do anything wrong again. But the next day or the next moment, I do something wrong. But we sing, we worship God in the mountaintops and in the valleys. When we go it together, when we have it. Why? Because we have a philosophy that says that Jesus is bigger than our mistakes. Jesus could turn around our mess. Like the lost sheep in the passage today, Jesus can find us again. Jesus could, could put us on the right track. And in fact, because of grace, not um, the reason for grace, but because of grace, we can actually be even in a better place uh, after all the mess because of grace, the way that God works. We don't sin because of that. 
But that is so amazing, isn't it? That we worship God because of our philosophy, that our grace of, the grace that Jesus gives us is bigger than all our mistakes. You know what grace is like? Sometimes, I guess it is, it's like being let off the hook. It's like no one ever knew what you did. It's like when I was at Canvey uh, Island the other day and I, I was just breathing in the fresh air. That's what, why we worship. That's why we sing together. It's because we know that even though, like the lost sheep, we get lost at times, we can sing our hearts content knowing that it's not about uh, where we are now, but it's where Jesus is taking us. And that's why we gather together in church, is to encourage each other. Say, come on, let's, let's, let's encourage each other. We're, we're, all, we're all broken. We all need help. Whether we read the Bible every day or we've never read it before. We all love the same as Jesus. We are, we are uh, uh, in the Father's eyes. We are all his favourites. The second reason why we sing our heart's content today is because we sing because we have a lost story and we have a found story. What do I mean by that? The chief in the story, I'm sure, um, uh, he, he probably met up afterwards with the other 99 and in sheep language, he probably said, oh, gee, I can't believe the story I've got for you to tell. And all the other 99 are listening uh, intently. And the little sheep is saying, do you know, I got totally lost. We we're all together. And then all of a sudden I went left when you all went right. And I thought the shepherd had probably lost me. And I didn't know what to do. And I kept on bleating. It was cold and dark. You get the drift, yeah? And then in the end, he found me and I came back and I felt so happy. I'm so glad I'm a sheep. I'm so glad I'm with the other 99. The sheep's got a story, but you've even got even more of a story than that. We sing because we've got a lost story, but we've also got a found story. You know, part of my story was I grew up in the church and uh, yes, it was great. And I knew about Jesus from a young age. I went to a Catholic primary school, I went to a Catholic secondary school. But I didn't actually make that final connection that Jesus died and rose again. Yes, he died, I realised, but I didn't realise that he actually rose again. I wish he did. It took me to the age of 18, going through things like Alpha, going through things like reading the Bible, like the Gideons giving us a Bible when I was 14 at Catholic Church. And I remember um, um, late at night with a, with a torch and my parents said, oh, you should be asleep now. And I remember reading the passage that Jesus talking about worry a lot. There's a wonderful passage about saying you don't need to worry about anything. That's why we sing too, just as an aside. But then at the age of 18, I just found it was so amazing that I, that I was found again. You know, the, the other day um, I, was, I was in London on a flexi day and um, I, um, I was having tea with the Queen. Well, not quite with the Queen. Outside Buckingham Palace, I thought I'd have a cup of tea and just pretend that the Queen was having her cup of tea. It was about three o'clock in the afternoon. But our story, when we're, when we're found again, we're not just found and plonked in a church like St Martin's, but we're sitting in the banqueting table with the Lord. And his banner over us is love. We were lost and we hold on to that story. But we've got to remember when things aren't going well, when we lose a loved one, when our health is going wrong, when our church's finances um, are, are, in, are in need of, of a big injection, uh, when, when our children may get a, a, an illness, when we don't feel good in ourselves, we've got to hold on to that story in our songs. And we sing because we're winning. We had a lost story and we've got a found story. And so like Peter in the Bible, like Paul who messed up, who went the wrong way, uh, Paul who wrote quite a bit of the, the New Testament, was a murderer, yeah? If anyone out there is a murderer, you're in good company because your life can be redeemed too. You, you could be someone who, um, who just runs away from, from God. That's okay because that's what Peter did too. We sing because we've got a lost story in a found story. We sing because... We may not have it all together, but we've got a philosophy that we're on, on the right journey, that God is going to take us to the end. That's why we worship. And so in the passage today, keeping context with the passage, my final point of, this, of, of why we should gather together as a church and sing songs is we sing because we long to live outside of our comfort zone. I don't know about you, but sometimes when I worship God, I feel like, oh man, um, it's a bit dull, to be honest. I'm not getting much out of it. 
And actually, that's not what worship's about. Worship is about Jesus. Worship is about giving him the glory, giving him the praise, giving him everything. And you know, friends, if it starts to get a bit dull and a bit boring, it's not because St. Martin's isn't singing the latest Soul Survivor Hillsong songs, or we can sing those if you like. But it's because something is missing and it's because we have been too long in our comfort zone. Yes, at times in life where we're going through an illness or a bereavement or we're feeling afraid or we're feeling anxious, it's good to have the church as a comfort zone. But the church is there to remind us that our principal calling is to live outside our comfort zone. Yes, come back again at times. That is when um, worship comes alive. You hear in the passage, the last part in the passage, where this shepherd, he could have just said, hey, I've got my sheep back. Oh, I'm I'm not going to tell my other friends. I always look a bit foolish. But no, what he did was because his love for his sheep was so much, he told his friends and his neighbours, not just just his friends, his neighbours as well. I love that point. He says, come with me and celebrate. Come and and see the good things that have happened. My sheep was lost and now it is found. Come and let's let's just have a big praise party. We as Christians are called to go out of our comfort zone. Yes, tell our friends about God, but maybe they don't want to know. Then we're called to tell our neighbours and keep on telling. And then when we do that, we can just hear um, uh, God just calling us to praise him and worship again. You know, at times it may not always be that great, but Jesus believes in us. That's why he says, go and tell. Go and tell others. Part of my story was the fact that a load of my, ma- my mates who uh, went to church, they didn't tell me about Jesus because they thought, oh, he didn't want to know. You know, there's loads of people in your life that uh, do not know about Jesus or know about church. But I guarantee if you start telling people, there'll be a few that would want to know. You know, there are two dates in life that are so, so important. The first date is the date that is that you were born and the second date was the reason why you were born. Friends, we're called as as Christians and people who follow Jesus to live for that second date, to live for our purpose, to live for the reason we're called uh, on this planet. You know, at St Martin's at the moment, we're going through um, a bit of a financial push. We need to raise 15,000 extra each year. Um, to, to, to keep going, to keep um, church vibrant and alive in the community. And uh, we're going to be, I guess in a way, coming out of our comfort zone. And we may, may feel a little bit embarrassed or a bit intimidated. But when we do that, we will feel actually we want to worship the Lord more. When we go out of our comfort zone, it gives us even more chances to, uh, to worship God. I just end with a couple of points, really, um, just from just stepping out of my comfort zone. Um, there was um, a, a, a man called uh, Shiraz Khan. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. But because I've been praying to God, I said, God, we just want to be church for everybody. We want to be church for, for the, uh, the local community, for the worldwide community. And for some reason, God seems to be hearing that, that prayer about the worldwide church, where we worship the world, with the worldwide church, especially through COVID-19. And this guy called Shiraz, I've never really spoken to him, but he said, would you like to talk to uh, uh, a church in Pakistan? Uh, not, not fly over there, but on the Zoom. I thought, do you know, that is amazing. I've never done that before. Wow. Um, sharing God's love with people from Pakistan. I'm so up for that. And then because of going out of my comfort zone, oh, sorry, my daughter Kala's just having um, a little bit of fun there. Um, there okay. <laughs> Am I on screen, Carla? Good. Uh, <laughs> this is live. There, there, there is nothing um, um, sort of uh, cut about this. <laughs> but I, I, I just... Um, sorry, I just lost my train of thought a little bit there. <laughs> uh, just, just to end with, um, I, I was just with um, some dear friends of mine. Uh, I hope they don't mind me saying their names. I'm sure they don't. Um, Simon and Suzanne. Simon and Suzanne, who are a wonderful part of, of our community here in, in Shenley. And they have a love for the church, a love for the community. And we just shared some really, really big things about actually how we could be even even more um, together, raising the Shenley spirit, raising that sense of community. And that's what church is about. It's, it's about singing outside of our comfort zone, 
being in the pubs, being in the in the in the cafes, being in uh, in the schools, in the nursing homes. It's not just being inside worshiping God. Yep, yeah, uh, that's fantastic. But we worship God outside our comfort zone. Hey, I think I've said quite a bit here tonight, but I just remind you, and I remind myself too, just some of the points which we shared today. What is church, especially as we go through COVID-19? Church is a place where we can sing because we know that we are winning with Jesus. He died and rose again for us. And that means we sing even though we don't have it all together because we have a philosophy that says actually Jesus has it all together. We sing because we've got a lost story and we've got a found story. You know, that all of us here who know the Lord, who know Jesus, can say, actually, I know when I was lost. But like uh, 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 the, the, the hymn writer John Newton, Amazing Grace, I was lost, but now I'm found. And finally, we sing because we're called to go out of our comfort zone. And that's the challenge for tonight, friends, is that if you're finding it hard to worship God, you're finding it boring, then maybe God is saying, why don't you step out a bit? Maybe pray a bit more. Maybe actually tell someone about Jesus. Stick something on Facebook or Twitter or even go further. Go and speak verbally to someone. Let's just end with a prayer. If you're on YouTube or Facebook and you're listening to this, I would just love your comments. That just so encourages me. That's what church is about, isn't it? Is encouraging one another. So please uh, be free to share any comments um, at the end. But let's just say a prayer together. Lord Jesus, we just want to thank you that we can sing because we are winning. We don't have it all together, but you do. We've got a lost and a found story. And Lord, teach us to go out of our comfort zone and worship you there. Draw back in again to you every morning and every night. But in the day, help us look out for the marginalised. Let's not be selfish. Uh, let us be um, open-handed in all our affairs. In Jesus' name. Amen. And so let's just say the grace together. You can do the actions at home too. Callie, you can do them too. It's the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us all evermore. Amen. Hey, that's a wrap. Um, hope you have a lovely evening.